Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here for your reading. We will be looking into your current energy and see what's coming up around you and someone that you may be dealing with uh, romantically. So we'll throw out a card for overall energy and we'll see what else is coming up for you Air Signs. So this can be to the cross watches as well. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Feel free to sign up for membership for extended readings. Okay, it looks like your overall energy card has fallen out and it is the three of wands. Okay, there's a lot of introspection happening here, but it's for the future or you're sort of, you're sort of trying to make sense of a bigger picture here. Now, I feel for a lot of you, you're looking potentially into a long-term union with someone or you're assessing a person, possibly under a fire sign. So... I'm picking up that this is a connection that's moved fairly quickly, uh, or it is one that is starting to move more quickly than before. And I feel for the most part you're assessing um, how this could go in a future connection. Now, for a lot of you, it's someone who may be foreign or may be coming in from overseas because that three of wands can indicate like a movement card, right? Um, but air signs, to get a general scope of things, I feel like you're planning, you're mapping things out, okay? You're like, okay, what am I going to do here? Am I going to move for them? Am I going to make these plans? Am I going to relocate to be closer to this person? Are they going to relocate to be closer to me? You know, you're not just thinking about the present moment. It's it's becoming much, much deeper than that. Okay, so you're thinking about things um, much more further ahead here see what else comes up okay something's holding you back or pulling you back um, something to do with your emotions here air signs there's some sort of nagging feeling at you that's coming up it can be in relation to the past because we've got the chariot it can be in regards to a cancer here um, or it's telling me that the past is somehow affecting what you're thinking about the future here um so whether or not you have dealt with a cancer uh air signs or maybe this is telling me that this is someone from your past um but i feel like it, it can be overcoming like those obstacles with the chariot card so i feel like there is something that you want to sort of break through and you may be struggling now you're coming up as the queen of swords so you're trying to wrap your head around a situation you're trying to talk through it you're trying to write it out journal it you know discuss it with the people you know and trust you may be getting some advice um, and that advice for the most part is helping you may not be thinking it's helping but on a subconscious level it really is it's getting you through whatever this is that you're going through it's a process okay sometimes in this instant age we forget that Things are a process sometimes and we need to be patient. You know, as air signs, we can get, become very impatient. But I think whatever this is, this is like a major learning curve and it's working because suddenly you're learning to be more adaptable, more patient, more understanding. So I think, I think this is a big sign. Uh, I do want to say, I do want to say for the most part, you feel hopeful about a situation. I'm sensing there's hope. On one aspect, there's like hope to move forward on a situation. Um, but then on the other aspect, the seven and the eight of cups are telling me on the flip side of the coin, you feel completely helpless about a situation. And then sometimes it's like you don't even know how you feel. Like one day you're feeling really happy and you're feeling really motivated. And then another day it's just, you know, it's, it's tougher, it's harder. Your emotions are a little bit all over the place. So you're trying to like manage that. The way you're coming across is the Queen of Swords, so you're coming across as very well put together, well composed. Um, but I feel like there is a bigger picture here. I'm also getting that people want to communicate with you. You've got messages coming in, you know, your inbox might be flooded. You might be leaving people on um, read, people on um, uh, on read, on, on scene. And it's like you're trying to focus and, and, and do this bigger picture here and you're, you're starting to wonder, okay, do I bother responding to this person if I know they're not going to be in my future? Am I just going to have a bit of fun with them? Mm, you know, there is someone here, there is a relationship with a chariot. Um, <clears throat> the stars could indicate it's supposed to be in your destiny. 
um, it could also indicate that there's some healing that needs to take place in one of these connections and you're perhaps waiting on that healing here uh, two of wands is reversed so I feel like air signs you're choosing someone very significant um, and I feel like it's someone that you feel more familiar with because of that cancer energy. So it's someone that you've built memories with or it's someone that you feel a closeness to or maybe they just really make you feel loved and cared for and that's so important to you, air signs. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini and, and that's how you're coming up and that's what you're leaning more towards because you're leaning towards the person that can emotionally take care of you. Everything else appears to be falling in the background here. Money, status, wealth, all those other things, looks, all those other things you had in your checklist before, suddenly they're all changing and perception really is everything and you're going to start to see that change within yourself because two of ones reverse tells me you're getting rid of all those options. Now you have options, air signs, okay? We tend to have a lot of options around us. We tend to attract a lot of people. So I'm not disputing this, but I just think where you're at, it's like you're you're looking at that bigger picture, trying to plan through those. You're making some big plans here. You've got some big plans in place, whether you're taking some baby steps, whether you're aware of it or not. Some of those plans may involve you moving, traveling, relocating, having someone move or travel to be closer to you. But there's some big plans in place, and I feel like these plans are going to impact your long-term future here. I do. Uh... Page of Pentacles is reversed here. You're not accepting anything that's below your level or your standard. Um, your standards might have dropped before for someone that you thought you were in love with or attached to. But now, all of a sudden, it's like you're dropping those. You know, you're dropping any any signs of like immaturity you see from someone or they do something that you don't like or that is a deal breaker. You have learned your lesson and you are no longer going to stick around and wait to be hurt. It's like you're going to drop them like, no, this is not for me. That's not part of my future plan. And this kind of thinking is really going to shape your experiences, but in a very positive way. Because again, you're coming up, uh, up as the Queen of Swords and she attracts a lot into her life. So you'll be attracting a lot of conversations and people and experiences that are going to help formulate those future long-term visions and plans. And, you know, it might be that you've normally went for someone younger, someone immature, you know, page of pentacles is dropped. It's like you're dropping that energy. You're overcoming that relationship. You're getting over that person. Maybe you're no longer feeling like you can go for anyone who's that level of immaturity anymore. Like big plans in place. And I think you do have a lot to look forward to here. So um, that is very exciting to see how that plays out but i will leave it there air signs thank you again gemini libra aquarius for tuning in and i do hope to be in touch very soon so thanks again everyone and bye for now